Okay, so today we're going to learn how to age a normal photograph to make it look like that it's sort of old and damaged. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the one that we have here. The first thing we want to do is desaturate the layer. So if you go into image, adjustments, and desaturate, then we want to go into filter, noise, add noise, and you just want to add just a little bit of noise just to get a bit pixelated just like that and then we want to go into image adjustments and photo filter and then we want to select a yellow so we'll select color libraries and then we'll go up here because the yellow of the photo uses this Pantone hexachrome yellow see just gonna hit OK for that then what we want to do is apply a lighting effects filter so if you go into filter render lighting effects and then you want it to be you want to make sure that the circle leaves some cut off corners and that you want it reasonably bright so these are the settings here 21 690 6908 so I'm just going to try it with those for the moment Sometimes you might not get it the first time, but you just sort of practice. Then what we want to do is duplicate the layer, and then we want to create a new layer. And then on this new layer, you can, um, if you have some grunge brushes, um, they usually work pretty well. Um, for the layer, you want to select the blending mode to soft light and then just use some of your grunge brushes to add in some you know, text Oops. Um, make sure you reset the colors here and then just want to add in some sort of bits and pieces here and then just sort of play around with this just to give it that sort of damaged look so I'm just going to add a few more strokes here and then we'll keep moving. So we'll just do something like that. A couple of these. And then Maybe just the text again. And then when you're happy with that, you can merge these two layers together. So if you hold shift and click them, then right click and select merge layers. And then you want to change the opacity or change the um sorry, the blending mode to linear light and then just change the capacity down to what you feels appropriate for your picture so yeah so that's basically it um, when you play around with the grunge brushes more you get sort of a more old photo damaged damaged photo effects type thing but yeah so that's basically it. I hope this has helped you and thanks for watching.